This right here is the Lamborghini Huracan Sterato. Now this is the last variant to be made on the Huracan line. It is a raised version of the Huracan capable of going on the dirt. So I'm going to give you a closer look. But more importantly, this vehicle is coming to India in the third quarter of 2023. It's priced at 4.61 crore ex showroom without all the options of course. Let's go take a closer look. Right then, so this is the Sterato. Now this is the tallest version that you can buy on the Urakan platform. And this is meant to go on the dirt roads. Not so much the rocky roads, but the dirt roads. And that is why you will see a lot of that dirt inspiration. Like for example, right here in the front, you have these auxiliary lights. Interestingly, despite their placement, they are also tested for pedestrian protection and they pass all those tests. Down below, you will also see a skid plate, a scuff plate. And that's quite unique to see from Lamborghini on a sports car. You'll also see roof rails on top here. However, the load capacity is only 30 kilos. So maybe light bicycles or some really light luggage should be good enough, but nothing more than that. Certainly not roof tents, certainly no beds on top to support that adventure lifestyle. You also see scuff plates or that rugged cladding down below. And speaking of the rugged cladding, you also see it over the wheel arches. Now, the air intakes of the standard Huracan have been blocked off over here and the actual air intake is now on top. A bit like the STO, but they had to place it here because the air intakes down below were just picking up too much dirt, which is why it had to be placed on top so that this still draws in cleaner air. The air filtration system has also been upgraded to cope up with all the dirt and the off-road driving that this car intends to do. And to that effect, it also gets these Bridgestone Dueler knobby pattern tires. Now, of course, these tires are restricting the top speed of this car. So the top speed is restricted, in fact, to about 255 kilometers an hour. And because of that revised air intake system that I was showing you, uh, there is also a bit of a detuning done to the engine. So you can see the badge, it says, LP610-4, so that's 610 PS. The four indicates all-wheel drive, of course, which is standard on the car. And no, they will not make a two-wheel drive version because that just beats the purpose of it. Like we've seen with the newer generation of the Huracans, the exhaust systems are right on top. Below that, you can see the diffuser with the integrated scuff plate in it. The engine, of course, is the V10, like I said, restricted to 610 PS, restricted to a top speed of 255 kilometers an hour. The 0 to 100 in this state of tune and with the higher ride height is 3.4 seconds. So that's clearly not the quickest for an Huracan, but it is with those off-road tires, with those knobby tires. Here's another look at the car. Now, the front track and the rear track both have been increased. And if my memory serves me right, I think it's 1.4 inches at the front, 1.8 inches at the rear. You also have a 40 millimeter increase in ride height and ground clearance. And also, of all the Huracans ever produced, all the variants ever produced, the Sterato has the softest ever suspension setting on an Huracan. Of course, it still has adjustable dampers and there are different driving modes too. So I'm going to use the key and unlock the car. That goes. And let's take a look at the cabin. So this is the cabin of the Sterato. Let's power it on. So it gets new graphics on the instrumentation. Uh, there's a lot of Alcantara used inside the car, of course. A lot of carbon fiber as well. You can see it on the doors. The Sterato stitching on the seats. 
these are carbon fiber seats of course Lamborghini badging right there the infotainment right here and that's the steering so of course you choose the different driving modes from the steering wheel itself and here you will see the new rally mode so this rally mode is what we've seen on that that is the Urus Performante and that now comes to this car as well so like the Urus Performante it essentially eases the traction control uh, settings uh, for the car so that it can easily uh, go into a nice drift but it will intervene if the car is going to spin out so that bit has been uh, designed in a way that you can do your fun on the dirt as well since this is a dirt oriented Huracan but at the same time it ensures the safety of the passengers also so as for the infotainment it does get a few new functions so the telemetry system is in the future iterations it's going to give you uh, the ability to pair your apple watch uh, with the telemetry uh, so it can also monitor your heart rate with the telemetry itself there's also going to be an inclinometer uh, and uh, it's also going to tell you the roll and the pitch because again the off-road orientation of the vehicle so yeah so that is the change to the or the addition to the uh, infotainment let's go into vehicle like i said inclinometer right here so it will tell you the roll and the pitch as well uh, and what inclines you're driving at so all that data is available right here so this also tells you the the angle of the wheel the air pressures etc so the LDVI, ldvi is right here then this essentially takes care of the exterior lighting the doors the speed warning you can set it at whatever speed limit you want to set it at the speed warning i mean then there's a rain sensor for the automatic wipers parking aids wiper service position chassis number etc etc so yeah that is the main change here that you see or the addition that you see here then there is also the navigation though i've never i've never been a fan of the navigation system here because you know you always have to take your eyes off the road it's placed quite low then you have the telephone where you can just add pair a new phone etc and if you go into settings there's of course settings for the display language the measurement units metric or otherwise date and time gps system maintenance etc and then you have phone apps as well function not available at the moment that's essentially your apple carplay or android auto there's media there's sound etc so yeah this is what it is uh now you have the different controls here for the windows the auxiliary lights so that's a new switch though that will switch on the auxiliary lights that's to turn off the traction control completely though i think the rally mode would be better hazard lights uh, this is the Parktronic and uh, this is the auto start stop and uh, that's the window on the right hand side. So this is a left hand drive car. You have the different selections right here, reverse, park and then there is the manual mode and that's the parking brake and that is of course the starter and that's the multifunction steering wheel. Your lighting controls are right here and they all have this black chrome or a dark chrome finish on them which i think looks quite nice and when you're driving off the road there's not much that you can see in the rear view mirror so you've got to be careful you've got to be vigilant of where you're driving how you're driving i do want to find out however what that camera is for because there is also a dash cam right here and I'm going to go and find out what that camera is for. These are the pedals. Those are the seats. And that's the adjustment for the seat. That will adjust the seat back. That's the height. And that's the reach. And while we're at it, let's also listen to that V10 again.
So here's an interesting bit of trivia. When Lamborghini's design director, Mitya Borkert, and the CTO, Rowan Moore, were having a discussion about some of the automotive icons, the Lancia Stratos came up. And that sort of led to them developing the Sterato concept in 2019. When Steven Winkleman came on board, he green-lighted that project in 2020. In fact, they say that he was very critical for this project to be green-lighted. And as you can see, the Italian colors are also here. And that might remind a lot of you of the Lancia Stratos. Of course, the pattern is different, but the Italian colors are here. And everyone who knows the Stratos will be reminded of it. So as I mentioned, the Sterato will begin deliveries in India in the third quarter of 2023. The pricing starts at 4.61 crore rupees and the bookings are already open. In fact, Lamborghini India tell us that they've received quite a few inquiries and bookings for this model already. We're hoping to drive it soon. Let us know what are your thoughts about this high-riding Huracan and let us know if you have any questions about it, put it in the comment section below. Oh, by the way, they're only making 900 of these. Thank you so much for watching this video.